You almost ran over it. Huh? Huh? You almost ran over it. Is it dead? Too far. Huh? Too far. Cold. Warmer. 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 I would not. Why? 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 I would not. Let nature be nature. No, no, that's not what I wanted. No. Oh, please. It's not that the cottontails cannot survive in captivity. Don't touch it, yeah. You could play with it all you want, but don't touch it. Why? Because cat cottontails cannot live in captivity. I just said that. Babe. What's captivity? That means being captured by humans, touched and played with by humans. I don't know why, that's just nature. I want you to watch my hands. No, it has nothing to do with that. Just to observe nature from a distance. He, she has no defense, just like a baby fawn, but just to lay there like that. You can get one of those white fluffy bunnies to pet, pet all day long at the store, but you can't touch a cottontail. Why can't I touch a Why is the sky blue? Why is God in heaven? I, there's certain questions you cannot answer. Just look at it. Turn the camera off so you could beck, so you could uh, negotiate with me. Well, just at least say welcome to the Smiths. Don't you love it when the good guys win? Whipper wheel singing on a summer night. Make a rope swing with a tractor tire. River stays high, but the county's dry. Country things. Fried catfish at a corner store. Thanking the Lord for a thunderstorm. Truck in the barn, don't crank no more. Country things. New York to California. Nothing hits home like where you're born. And it's a dirt road, slow jam. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Homemade pass down recipe for supper. Small church, white bells, front page, white tail. If you're like me, you'll always be a sucker for country things. Yeah, for country things. we take little walks in the woods check out the butterflies and the honeybees away from all the other animals learn what all the smells are I'm taking the Smith viewers on the walk through the woods with me this is like the serenity channel Walk through the Texas woods with me. She's a pretty good pup. Stays with me. Remy didn't do this. Remy would go off on his own. See, she stops when I stop. Remy would be in the pasture over there. Good dog, Loon. Then I start moving again. And she starts moving again. Sign of a good pot, folks. What's up, friends? I have gotten the Arise with Amber merch in stock. I'm so excited. Here's one of the shirts. It's military green, unisex. How can I pray for you? I actually just, I'm getting my first order out. So I want to say thank you to Rachel. She is the first person to purchase Arise with Amber t-shirts and hoodies. Let's see, let me show you what else we got. So we have the You Are Chosen tie-dye hoodie, which is so cozy, so comfortable. Let me take you outside and show you what else we got. So it's all still in my car, but you guys just saw this shirt, the How Can I Pray For You? Another one I have is, this is like a corduroy, super soft crew neck, 
sweatshirt and it says, God's got this. If you remember the mustard tea, the mustard yee yee live it tea, Rachel from Old Soul Designs is the one that has created these with me. I'm just honored that she is willing to work with me to create designs. I already have new ideas that I wanna show you guys. And then our last one is a unisex black tee and it just says Arise on it. Unisex Arise for guys and girls. I am just grateful. I had no idea whenever I created this Arise that, I don't know, that I was gonna have merch or that I, I didn't even know I was gonna have an Arise, you know, and you know, I, Everything we went through this past year with Riv and, and I was just kind of spilling my heart on Instagram and it's kind of like a diary for me, I guess. Um, just to write down my thoughts, it helps me heal, it helps me connect with anybody else who may be going through suffering. Hopefully I can comfort them in some way like God has comforted me. And so that turned into people asking me to do a video series um, on my journey and my faith and my grief. So I started that, which led to coffee mugs, which led to t-shirts and hoodies and I'm just having a lot of fun creating these designs for you guys. I appreciate all of your support, so I just wanna say thank you. They're all on my Etsy shop right now. My Etsy shop is Gallery 11, and then I'm creating an Arise with Amber website, which will be up soon. Then I'll take everything off of my Etsy and put it on the Arise with Amber site. So thank you guys so much. That's just an update of what I have been doing. What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome to today's video. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna stop you right here before we go any farther. This video is free for you to watch, it doesn't cost anything. So all we ask in return is subscribe to this channel. And if you've already done that, tell a friend about it and it helps grow this channel and it felt, helps us feel like people are watching and it's worth doing every single Tuesday, Thursday, so. You might think you're subscribed, but you might not be. So just make sure you, you check that little button and make sure it's clicked. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just hit it for a second. Yeah. Just give you guys just a second. Do you second. like what those other YouTubers do? Hit subscribe in three, two, one. Subscribe! Okay, we'll just wait. Did they do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, cool. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for, I'm sorry I had to go through a little technicality. Thank you so much for uh, doing that. We love you guys. We do. We try to be with this channel. It's our family vlog. We try to be as honest as we could be. I actually had my cousin, after we did last week's video, the one about the ocean. Mm-hmm. And my cousin texted me and she's like, hey, I don't normally watch the Smiths because I like to, I don't like the mask that social media puts on family members. So I like to just talk to them in person. But she said, I felt like I was talking to you, like we were just sitting in the living room having a conversation. And I texted her back and well, I said, thank you. But you know, I want you guys to know if my cousin says that, I hope you guys feel that same way. I think it felt, I mean, it was real. Obviously it was real. You were, you just sat out here and, and talked about how you felt, but I had people messaging me asking if you were okay. Yeah. Like, is Granger okay? Well, and that's the thing. We try to be, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide with you guys. And, and yeah, like if you look at my album cover or hear some, or see me on CMT interview or whatever, you're going to see the artist side of me and you know, I'm gonna pick out my shirt for the interview. Mm -hmm. and But when you see us on Tuesday and Thursday on the Smiths, you know, my commitment to this channel is that this is the time that we have nothing to hide. We're gonna be completely honest. If we are having a bad day, yeah. we're gonna talk about it. If we're having a good day, we're gonna talk about it. It's not just my promise to you without anything in return, because what I get in return is I get to have a moment with the public where I don't have to worry or filter or, I don't want to say the word fake, but, no, but you know, anybody that puts a picture on Facebook looks at it two or three times before they put it. No one just goes, click, boom, post. Like everyone at least goes, it's my angle of my chin, okay, I'm, you know? And I don't want to think like that. And here. interviews can be altered and, and things like that. And, and yeah, this for sure. is just us talking to you guys. And we've said it, or I've said it before, it's like a little diary for us yeah. to, express ourselves and I think for me anyway it helps in my healing yeah. and I just I enjoy it's, talking it's, with you guys. And I know you feel the same way and I don't know if you've done this a lot but this channel's been around for a little over a year now. We started it in February of 2019 so gosh I mean almost a year and a half and what's crazy is I could go back now and go through our Smiths videos and click on it and see the kids <laughs> young and see us doing something and, and I'll think, oh, that looks so fun. Like the other day I saw um, camping yee yee style. Yeah. 
on the Smiths. And then another one I saw us skiing on vacation. And then uh, another one I saw Lincoln and I at the NASCAR race yeah. in Iowa when we were on tour and Lincoln was with me. Yeah. And Lincoln looked little and we got in the car and we rode you know, around the track in the, in the pace car. And it's just so cool. Yeah. He had his little light in the queen. Yeah. And I, so I can't imagine how this is going to look for us in five years, in seven years, looking back on these episodes and seeing how much we've changed and how much we've grown. And Yeah, and we've changed for sure. I mean, there's, there's definitely a difference in us, too. Yeah. And there's some good stuff. Yeah. Like, like that NASCAR race, I was watching it and I was like, I filmed that? <laughs> That like makes me want to up my game when I can't I can't let my old self beat my new self. <laughs> That's not what this video is about. Um, yes, it's a lot about me just telling you guys that I have nothing to hide. We had London's birthday, and that's what we did this weekend. It was really fun. And although I, I kept the camera away for most of it so I could enjoy it myself through my own eyes, I did film a little bit, and I'm gonna show you guys right here. People coming over today, so we're doing a little beer can chicken one of my favorite things to cook. If you guys want to come over, anytime, comment below if you want to come over. I'll cook for you, beer can chicken. Today we're in, we're doing two of them today. This is what it's like cooking in an RV. This is my outdoor RV kitchen. Thank you, Explore USA. <laughs> so we're using Traeger, and uh, we also have Traeger's Fin and Feather Rub, which you could use anything, but I've been using this a lot lately. Partly because Traeger sent it to me. So it was available. So I don't think you could use too much. <laughs> now the fun part. Crack it cold. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> okay. It's tricky with two of them, but we're gonna crack a cold one. Could be anything. Hashtag not sponsored by Cords Light, but could be anything. About like yet. Yeah. Sits down on the beer. Crack another cold one. And don't let it fall. Perfect. Two gals sitting together. This is diamond and this is blue. Diamond. It's diamond and blue. No, it's not. Yeah, I went out there and got them this morning. Hey, we gotta eat. Then start the seasoning again. Generously. Generally. Why is the diamond and blue if uh, it's blue? It's blue, it's skinny. Yeah, I need you, Lincoln, to wipe my hands. Here, I'll use your shirt. And that, ladies and gentlemen, with the tray guy here, come here. I keep that close. Okay, so we're about there. Parker, you could be my assistant. Lift that up for me. Okay, I'm gonna get the probe. Looking for the deepest part of the breast. Go right there. Not the thickest part I meant to say. Okay, close her up, Clark. And then we're looking for a temperature of 165 degrees. It's gonna be good. And when it comes to food, everything's on the table because you want to eat good. So cheating, hey, cheat. If you could cheat, cheat. So here's what we do. We got a menu. I set probe alarm, and then I'm gonna set it at 165. So now the probe's at 40 degrees, it'll go to 165. That's when we want the chicken to be ready. And then all we gotta do is wait for that alarm to go off in about an hour and pull the chicken off. Easy. God's blessings to me. Hey, God's blessings to me. Hey, God's blessings to me. God's blessings to me. Hey. <laughs> One sweet at a time made this cake. Oh, look at the inside. Uh, Marissa, it's her company. Wow, that's amazing. 
Okay, do you want me to take these off? No, no, you can't. You don't have to. Ready? Are they edible? Yes. Wow. I want, a, I want another butterfly. That's amazing. Oh no, it's edible paper. Yeah, but since you got all mm. of it. It's good. I went just a touch long because the Aggies were finishing the game. So the key here is don't drop the chickens. Don't drop the chickens. <laughs> In fact, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here and I'll get the beer out because I have some sausage on here now. Beer sausage. Chicken, chicken, chickens. Okay. Get that out like that. There's our beer. Who wants to drink a beer? <laughs> like this, like that. Who wants to drink a beer? Like that. Watch out, Remy. Get rid of some beer. Right. So now we'll let it rest for 10 minutes. So good. Butch always says there's two seasons, winter and summer sausage season. Speaking of nothing to hide, there's something that we've done over the last couple weeks, and by God, we did try to hide on the Smiths, yeah. and we couldn't any longer, and that's our vehicles. Both of Amber and I got new cars. There's a long story behind it, but our vehicles are such a big part of the Smiths because you see everything, and you see where we go, and how we get there, and us arriving, and us leaving, and us driving, and vlogging, and I haven't been able to vlog in my truck in like two weeks, <laughs> yeah. if you've noticed. That's because we got two new vehicles, and that's a story in itself, speaking of nothing to hide. <laughs> it's a long story, but I'll try to tell it as short as I can. Oh yeah, because you've only told it on your Granger channel. I've only told you it on the Granger channel. I decided, really a couple months ago, that my truck, which is the brown Chevrolet Silverado that I've driven in every single episode of this vlog, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give that truck away to one of you. I've had so many memories in that truck and every time I turn the key, I can't help but get a little sad sometimes with that truck. And although it's great to have things for nostalgia reasons, I know, because it's such an awesome truck, I know that it would bring so much joy and happiness and to a fan. And I can't imagine the joy I will get when we get to give it away. And me and Bull are gonna deliver it. We're gonna pull it in the back of my bus on a trailer and deliver it to one of your houses. And I cannot imagine that feeling. I hope, I hope that person cries, Yeah. right? <laughs> like I really, it's gonna be a random uh, contest. I'll tell you everything about it. It's gonna be a no purchase necessary type contest. It's gonna be one of those if you've seen on YouTube, it's gonna be like make a purchase at Yee Yee Apparel and you're automatically entered or buy the album volume two, you're automatically entered even though it will be a no purchase necessary type thing if you wanna sign up separately. Long story short, it is, it's gonna be a moment I'll never forget. I'm very excited about it and I, when I decided to do it, I thought, well, I gotta get it. I have to get a new truck of some sort besides the one that we're building, rebuilding yeah. for Earl. I'm keeping that one forever. That's gonna be mine. That's, that'll be my main drive. But I thought, 
I need to get one before I make that announcement so I don't mess up the Silverado. So Amber and I, but, it, sorry. I told you it's a long, long story. story long. <laughs> so then I felt bad because I was like, I can't get a new truck before Amber gets a new SUV because you put way more miles on your Tahoe. I know, but my, but my Tahoe is newer. We, we went back and forth on this, but I felt like I can't make that decision until I get Amber a new vehicle because she had 150,000 miles and she keeps, and I don't want her on the road with a 200,000 mile car with babies. I could take a used something. So we pack up the kids and we go to Covert, Chevrolet, and Ford in Hutto, Texas. That's for... where we got her last two vehicles. Yeah. And we were just shopping and then it turned into this whole ordeal. They're like, Granger and Amber, can we talk to you guys? So then they pulled us in, they're good people. Yeah. And we were gonna buy her a car. Yeah. And then they were like, listen, why don't we do this? Why don't you guys not buy cars and we'll let you guys have demos. And then all you have to do is drive these demos. And then when it gets to a certain amount of mileage, you turn them in, we sell it. It's like a win-win. They don't hardly lose any money because they sell them nearly new and they could say Amber or me drove it. And then we just keep trading out so we don't have a car payment. And I was like, gum, I can't beat that. <laughs> I cannot beat that. So that's what we so did. we did it. So we, uh, uh, let me show you a little bit about when they, when they arrived at the Yee Farm, I'll show you just a little clip of that. Wow. It's so pretty. Yes. Wow. <laughs> So, I continue to feel like I didn't deserve a truck that nice. You definitely deserve a car that nice. No, I don't. But I don't need that. And, and sure enough, on YouTube, when I put that, what you just saw out on my channel, sure enough, I couldn't help but see a few comments that are like, you're such a sellout. You sell out, boy. You, you just go get that, you just go make that deal and you just become corrupt. And this is what one comment said, I, I've become corrupt. Meanwhile, cor meanwhile, he's sitting here going, gosh, he, he's never bought a I've new truck I've never driven ever, a new truck in ever. my life. I've never driven, never driven a, new a new truck in my life until now. And, he, and this guy says, I'm corrupted on YouTube. I'm like, well, buddy, I have worked for two decades and blood, sweat, tears, and failed and failed and failed and had a little success and then failed again and then failed again and had a little more success and failed again for two decades. Like, okay, I could drive covert Ford and she could drive a covert Chevy and we're gonna be okay with that. So no, I have no regrets. I have zero regrets about that. Yeah, you shouldn't. You're and that truck he's, is freaking he's still, awesome. He's still saying he doesn't deserve a truck where, like that. Where this camera is sitting, it's funny because where this camera is, I'll show you. That's what keep looking we're at. We're literally, we're literally looking at. <laughs> look at that. We're literally looking at. Funny thing is, it's funny how we're, we, uh, we have two amazing brand new vehicles and we live in a barn. <laughs> we live in a barn, y'all. <laughs> That's so funny. Ah, such a sellout. <laughs> and anytime we do a Tuesday video, we always have to think about what we did over the weekend, yeah. so we could recap on the Tuesday video. You've been doing your rides with Amber, and not to let Yee Yee Apparel outdo you, you had to have your own merch, and it's actually awesome. I didn't. It wasn't because I didn't want Yee Yee Apparel to outdo me, because I love working with Yee Yee Apparel and coming up with the women's. It was actually because I think it started was I wanted to create a coffee mug so that on Sunday mornings on our rise at eight in the morning, we're always drinking coffee. I was like, I'm gonna make a mug. Sell out. Which just turned into t-shirts. Sell out, <laughs> oh, corruption. <laughs> so now you guys have pretty much sold out my whole, you guys have already sold out my mugs like four times and then y'all have sold out my shirts almost this whole first order and I already have to reorder again. So I never expected it to be that way. I'm not trying to outsell your he apparel because that will never happen, but I'm just grateful that we have this little online community on Sunday mornings. And if you haven't caught, if you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched an episode, I would love for you to join us. 
we just talk about faith and love and family and God and we pray for each other. So. And you're very, very vulnerable in that because um, you don't yeah. feel like, you don't, you never feel like it's going to be good. Every Sunday you're like, this is not going to be good. And I have to talk you off the ledge and yeah. say, it's probably going to be great. And it always is. So yeah. we're, uh, we're going at full throttle right now because we have her podcast on Sunday. My, I mean, her arousal on Sunday, my podcast on Monday, Smith's on Tuesday, Earl Dibble's Dip em and Pick em on Wednesday, Smith's on Thursday, and then we have the house restoration. I mean, the truck restoration and the house build. I can't even keep track of it. I want to show you guys that on my channel, we're doing the farmhouse build, which is, you can't see it because it's dark, but directly behind us, we're building this farmhouse. We're taking it one step at a time, and if you jump over to my channel, the Granger channel, we've, we've released part one of building this farmhouse. We're about to release part two. And we're also gonna keep you um, completely up to date. Here it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Gonna, I think it's gonna start happening pretty quickly now, so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exciting news, welcome to part one of building our dream farmhouse. This is, gives you a good idea of how it's gonna look. It's not gonna be some fantastic cribs house that everybody will brag about in town. It's much more of a humble farmhouse but it's very nice we'll go through the build itself and find out exactly how this custom texas farmhouse will be built welcome yee -ye. a couple more things i want to give a shout out to paul de la Cerda, who yeah. edits the smiths just does a fantastic job and i always feel like what you don't see on these videos is you don't see us talking to him through the camera constantly we're like oh paul add this uh paul uh make sure you put london's birthday here and so I'm always apologizing to Paul. And Sorry, Paul. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. So he cuts it all out. Maybe he does, maybe he won't in the future. Maybe but he'll put it in. if you know what we're doing behind the scenes, we're talking to Paul through the lens here, so he knows how to edit. But shout out to Paul. <laughs> Love you, brother. A big shout out to my brother Tyler, who I'm so tired of blurring out on these uh, episodes. Yes. I am so tired, but we actually have to blur him out because if he's seen on social media, he gets fined twenty five thousand dollars. But tonight. As this episode airs, one hour later, no, one hour or so yeah. later, The Bachelorette will air, depending on your time zone, and um, Team Tai Tai. Team Tai Tai. He will be going for the heart of Claire and trying to win her heart. Yes, he will be giving roses. No, yep. she will be giving. She'll a be rose. getting a rose to him. Well, we got something to show you guys. Come, come here, here, come here. No, don't come that way because the yeah. camera's on there. Come here. Here, I'll take this dog. We got Team, Team Tai Tai London. Come here. Team Tai Tai Lincoln. We are Team Tai Tai for the Bachelorette, yep. right? Yep. yep. So you we, guys. We hope you guys are too. And the interesting thing on the Bachelorette, he will not be blurred out. <laughs> we'll talk about this more on Thursday's episode. Yeah. Uh, we'll all watch it together and see how he does with it. So. Anyway, so by the way, on, on, my, on the truck deal, in case I didn't say that um, completely right, we're gonna do the truck giveaway, my truck giveaway. I will, I'll announce everything. So don't feel like you missed anything in this situation. I'll announce that on a whole different video and say exactly why and how and how you could be involved in that truck giveaway. But um, it's gonna be super easy, no purchase necessary. All you do is sign up. We'll tell you how to do it. So, so guys, I hope you like this video. Please <laughs> like. Please subscribe, hit that notification button so you never miss any of our videos. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. For country things, yeah, country things. Fried catfish at a corner store, thanking the Lord for a thunderstorm. Tracking the barn, don't crank no more, country things.